Hey guys, it's me, Dan. I'm Spex at the Cross. Today, we are going to review the Super Colossal Dread Nodders, which is in such basement dino dungeon. I'm super excited because I have been waiting for this for like a very long time, okay? It is finally here, sitting right here on the table. We will be opening, reviewing it, and comparing it with, um, you know, all the latest Super Colossal figures sitting right on top of this shelf. After that, we'll probably do like a collection video together with all the other Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Sauropods, okay? I'm super excited, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so what we are going to do, it's opening this, review this in Basement Dino Dungeon. After that, we will take this figure along with other Super Colossus, maybe to level 1 or maybe to level 3 or I'm, I'm not sure. Let's just open this and um, have a look first, okay? So I basically got this from a Japanese online store, which is why you can see the logo is actually in Japanese instead of English. So you can see it has a very, very beautiful box. Okay, if you flip it over, you're able to find another illustration of the Dreadnoughters, this time in portrait format. Right over here, it's basically just um, the logo and the letterings, okay? So let's open this up right now, okay? Let's go. Okay, I'm using a box cutter, so you have to be like really careful when you're using this, okay? You know, even for myself, I tend to um, cut myself quite often. I'm not kidding you, okay? So let's get... I think we still need to cut this portion as well. Be really careful. All right. Okay. So, let's have a look at what's inside. There's a little like protection right over here, a little cardboard. We have the neck of the Dreadnoughters. Wow, it's really huge as compared to the um, Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus as you guys can see. Let's get the other part out. This is basically the tail. Looks like a chunky tail, and there's another end for you to connect. And here is the entire torso, I guess. Yep. It's a big one. And the other part of the tail, okay? Nice, okay? So basically, let's resemble this on the floor. Okay guys, time for us to open up all the different packages right here. So let's go with the um, tail first. So this is basically the end of the tail, which is kind of slim and um, very rubbery. Cool, very nice texture to it. This is the, um, the tail. It's a huge one, as you guys can see, very nice patterns. And you can see the base color is actually a kind of dark blue shade, which is very nice. Next. Let's get the um, neck and um, the head out. Beautiful one as you guys can see. Really gorgeous looking. You can see the teeth is like so beautifully done. We have a closer look at this later on. And finally, let's get the entire body out. As you guys can see, the packaging is actually very, very big. Wow, huge torso this is what you can see the neck is extremely thick we'll do a comparison with the brachiosaurus later on okay let's assemble this as you guys can see the legs are already assembled you know unlike some of the other um, colossus so let's pop this right in let me find out which is the right direction okay so you can see there is like a narrower little slot below. So this will go right here. Just push it in. Yeah, it's good to assemble this on a soft floor with like carpet because you know when you're pushing it, you might scratch the surface of um the figure. Okay, so this is the tail. So let's slot this right in. There's a little hole below. So align it and just push it right in. And after that, you are able to rotate it. Wow, it's really long. Yeah, it's the longest figure ever, for sure, 100%. Yeah, 
Wow, where are we going to keep this? I need more shelves, guys. And now, for the neck, let me just try to push the neck up. Wow, this is really tough. I can't even move it up. Uh, I'm doing it right here. Yeah, I finally got it up. Slightly, I think there's still a little, a little bit more. Wow, it's, it's really tight, I must say. Okay, let's assemble the neck. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's push this right in. Wow, this is tough. I'm using a lot of force. Yeah, there you go. Wow, this is extremely, extremely huge, guys. I'm not kidding you. This is like the biggest of all. And there are like two points of articulation on the neck. Right over here, you can move this portion. Wow, okay. Let's have a close look at this beauty. Okay guys, this gigantic Dreadnoughters is actually sitting right here on a table. It is massive guys, it is massive. I mean, if you take a look, the Brachiosaurus is right over here. And this is the Dreadnoughters. It is extremely huge. I'm not kidding you, I'm not even lying. I'm not exaggerating. It is just extremely huge. We'll do a comparison side by side. But first, let's take a look at this beauty. I'm just... I'm absolutely shocked and um, yeah, mind blown, basically. Okay, it's really, really cool. You guys can see there's one point of articulation right here, another one, another one over here, okay? But first, let's take a look at the face. I'm just so excited because this is so cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the face. Um, yeah, it looks very, very amazing. There's plenty of detail, plenty of details done on the face. Absolutely incredible detailing done. The teeth is like so nicely painted. The tongue, there are some texturing in the tongue as well. Okay, I'm gonna switch off the lights because I think it is causing a lot of glare. Oh no, I think we need to turn on, turn the lights back on. Yeah, you can see there is a very nice difference when it comes to the um, color contrast. Dark blue shading on top, you can find like a, uh, what do you call this, like a mustard color. Um, it, it is slightly golden in color, I would say. It doesn't have a shine, but it's looking very, very nice. Absolutely magnificent. You're able to turn the neck over here. Okay, it's nicely painted. You can see very nice muscle definition right over here. The scaling is perfect. Let's see whether we are able to um, move um, the neck over here. Okay, so guys, you can see this neck it's rotatable. Okay, I wouldn't say rotatable. You can actually move it left and right. And the angle is actually quite big. Let's take a look from the top. So you can see it is able to turn probably by, I wouldn't say like maybe like 20 degrees maximum. But it's very cool, okay? This portion, you can definitely push it right down like this. But you're gonna use a lot of force. I've actually tried that just now. It's, it's really difficult. Okay, but it's better than being loose. I have a Brachiosaurus with a neck, it just keeps falling over. But this one is like really tight, which is nice. Okay, you use plenty of force to push it up, okay? All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the feet and the legs, okay? Wow, you can see it looks pretty brilliant. Awesome stuff. There is, um, I mean, the toe claws aren't painted. As you guys can see, it aren't painted. They aren't painted, but they still look pretty good. Plenty of scaling done. You can see like pebble-like structures. You can see very nice ridges as well. Let's flip the dinosaur over. Okay, that's the bottom of the body, which is um painted in um a kind of like mustard color. It's, it's really nice, I must say. Beautifully done. Okay, moving back here, you can see there are like very nice swirls, okay, when it comes to the scaling, very beautiful. Some pebble-like structures, the patterns um, it starts from the neck, uh, which is right at the top, all the way to, I would say, half of the tail, probably. Okay, maybe more than half. You can see this tail is extremely long. This is the longest and the biggest figure, I think. Yeah, really beautiful. Okay, um, of course, it comes with a scan code which is sitting right here. This is a huge one. Let's flip the dinosaur over this colossus. It's really, really huge. 
Okay, um, you guys can actually scan this in the effects app. Really beautiful. Scan it. Okay. Dreadnoughters. Oh my goodness, this is just so awesome. Let's have a close up look. I mean, not a close up look, like an overview look of this again. It looks awesome stuff. I'm not too sure where we can actually put this. We, we are definitely running out of space right over here. We can't squeeze in another one. I'll probably find a space to place um, the Dreadnoughters right over here. If not, I really have no idea where we can actually put this Dreadnoughters. I need some suggestions for you guys, okay? Okay guys, so what we'll be doing next is that we will be bringing this Super Colossal Dreadnoughters maybe to level 1 along with this Brachiosaurus, the older version, the new version, the Gigara, the T-Rex, the Triceraptor, and the Apatosaurus for size comparison, okay? So let's go. Alright guys, so let's get this beautiful and huge Dreadnoughters. I'm not even sure whether I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, let's bring this to level 1. Let's go guys. Okay, so we will be reviewing the Dreadnoughters size comparison with the other figures right over here. Let's get the Brachiosaurus up as well. Okay, next to the Dreadnoughters. Well, you guys can already see the size comparison. Let's get the Giga down as well. Okay guys, so I've basically assembled all the latest Jurassic World Dominion's Colossus right over here, okay? So you guys can see, okay, let's do the very first size comparison between the Brachiosaurus. This is the latest Jurassic World Dominion Brachiosaurus, okay? So you guys can see the length of the Dreadnoughters, it's crazy. It is so much longer. Let's put this like, you know, from right over here with the tail as a starting point, okay? Moving on to the neck. Wow, it is clearly, clearly way longer than the Brachiosaurus. It is the most gigantic figure ever, okay? As you guys can see, it is really, really incredible. Um, let's do a comparison between the legs and the feet. Okay, you guys can see the Dreadnoughter's feet. It's very, very huge, okay? Compared to the um, Brachiosaurus one, which is like almost half the size. I'm not kidding you guys, okay? It's really big. And um, for both, the toe claws aren't painted, for sure. Very, very beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Okay, size comparison between the T-Rex, there isn't even any comparison when it comes to the length. This is the starting point of the tail. Moving to the neck, this is basically just stopping at this first point of articulation. I mean, second point of articulation. And it's like so much more longer. It's crazy. It's really, really crazy. Let's bring the Dreadnoughters over to this side to do a comparison with a Troceraptor. Not even close, guys. I think it's like almost half the length. I'm not kidding you guys. You can see. Wow. It is so much longer, guys. Check this out. Yeah. I think it is like almost half the length of the of the Dreadnoughters. I'm not kidding you. So the Dreadnoughters, it's absolutely gigantic, man. It's enormous. It is the biggest colossus ever. Okay. What about the Apatosaurus? I think we need to compare it with the Apatosaurus as well. So let's let's go. Let's go and get our Apatosaurus done. Okay, guys. So now we are at level three colossus. Oh. I think we should be able to squeeze in another figure right over here, I think. I think we can. We can probably squeeze in another Brachiosaurus. And um, yeah, and we can actually put our Dreadnoughters at basement. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, so we'll basically need to get this down. Let me see whether I'm able to like just hold this with one arm. I think I can do it, but the legs is actually stuck. So I need to get this up first. Okay guys, let's bring this down. I'm thinking of doing the um, sauropods collection video today as well, but I don't think so. I think this video is going to be long enough. Okay, so here's the Apatosaurus. Putting this next to the um, Dreadnoughters. Oh my goodness, guys. 
check out this size comparison. This, the Apatosaurus is looking like a tiny little baby sitting next to the Dreadnoughters, guys. This is like the biggest figure ever in my entire collection. I don't think I have a figure which is bigger than this one right over here. It is absolutely astounding. It's absolutely incredible. It's crazy. Yeah. So let's do a um, head comparison. You guys can see this is the height difference. You can actually push the neck upwards, you know, to even like a greater height. Let me just try this. There you go, guys. There you go. The tallest, the longest, and probably the widest as well. I think so. Let's take a look at the width of this dinosaur. Okay. In terms of the width, probably it is not, it is not as thick as the um, Atrociraptor. As you guys can see, the hips of the Atrociraptor is huge. It's pretty wide as compared to the um, Dreadnoughters. But in terms of the length, I don't think there is any comparison. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Okay, so let's bring all of this down to basement. Okay, let's go. Uh, maybe not. I think the size comparison, we are done with it. I'll probably need to bring the Dreadnoughters down and probably show you guys some of the um, older figures of some sauropods. Let's go. All right, guys, let's head in back to our basement Dino Dungeon. Check this out, guys. I've basically custom made a rock right over here, which is um, the Jurassic World Dominion logo. I think it looks absolutely amazing, but this will be for another video, okay? Okay, um, so check this out, guys. So I've basically placed back all Colossus back onto this shelf, and I've placed all the different sauropods right over here, okay? We'll take a look at the different sauropods from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World from my collection, okay? But first, I think we have totally forgotten to scan um, the Fax app. I mean, where is the code for this? Um, Where is it, guys? <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. It's, it's right over here. Let's see whether we are able to scan this. You guys should know that my connection and um, the basement is actually very bad, so I'm not too sure whether we are able to scan it. Oh, we got it! Nice! Cool! Let me turn up the volume. Wow, Dreadnoughters! Yeah, it's a huge one. Do you guys know what is the meaning of Dreadnoughters? Let me find out first, okay? Let me find out. Okay guys, I've basically found out what does the name mean for Dreadnoughters. It basically means fear nothing. From, I mean, in Greek, it is an extinct genus of titanosaurid, titanosaurian sauropod dinosaur that inhabited the forests and plains of present day Argentina. Nice. Very, very huge sauropod. I think it is like one of our biggest. No, it is definitely the biggest figure in our entire collection, okay? So, in case that you guys have not scanned this, okay, you can scan this in your fact set, okay? Beautiful one. All right. So this is the three Colossus, the three Titans from Jurassic World. We have the Apatosaurus right over here. We have the Brachiosaurus and we have the um, Dreadnoughters, okay? So what we'll be doing next is that we'll be going around the house to pick up all the different sauropods from Jurassic Park as well as Jurassic World. So let's go, guys. Okay guys, so next we are going to pick up all the different sauropods from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World starting from level 2. Check this out. I have a brand new rock right over here. It looks really good, I must say. Okay, so let's see what other sauropods that we can actually get from um, level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. I think we have a couple of um, Brachiosaurus and um, Mazarus. Okay, let's pick all four of them into the box okay we have two more sauropods from this shelf which is the um ampelosaurus okay into the box we also have another one which is the um amagosaurus so we can do a comparison with it as well Okay, I think we have two more. Amagosaurus from Takara told me as well as this Brachiosaurus. Any more from here? I don't think so. Yep, just two more. 
Okay, from this side, we actually have um, one more, which is the um, Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus. This mini one is also very adorable, so into the box. We probably need this as well. This is actually an Amaga Spinus, not exactly a pure sauropod. Okay, so now we are actually at the um, lever two and a half mini shelf. So let's pick up some of the um, sauropods. Um, there is an Apatosaurus sitting right here. It's a really small one, it's a minifigure. So let's get this out. We have um, Diplodocus, Apatosaurus, and two Brachiosaurus minifigures. We have a mini Brachiosaurus from Happy Mew. Surprisingly, we don't have any Brachiosaurus from Snap Squad, but we definitely have some from the um, Captive Collection, which is um, right here. This is a Brachiosaurus. Only one, I think. Oh, there's one more, guys. Another Jurassic Park minifigure. This is actually a die cast metal figurine. It's a very, very cool one. You have to put this in very carefully. You don't want to scratch it. Okay, let's head in back to our basement, Dino Dungeon. Yes, I'm really loving this little rock right over here. I think it makes the entire place like more vibrant because, you know, majority of my room is like black and white and this one basically just spice it up, you know, so much. Yeah, let's begin. All right, guys, so let's begin. You can see we have placed all the three giants on the table and they are taking up the entire table, okay? So, yeah. Just one, another look at the beautiful Dreadnoughters and the Brachiosaurus and the Apatosaurus. Of course, we still have another Brachiosaurus right over here. This one is a different one. This is actually, um, you know, the Legacy Collection first version of the Brachiosaurus. It doesn't have the um, painted shiny metallic paint on top of his head like this. You can basically see some nice turquoise metallic paint which looks absolutely amazing okay so these three are the super colossus sauropods the long neck dinosaur wow this angle looks really amazing we should probably take like a nice thumbnail over here all right guys so let's begin our collection video okay i think the very first one let's take a look at the latest one which is the ampelosaurus this is a really beautiful one it doesn't have any sounds which is a, a good thing because i really dislike like replacing the batteries like very regularly so you can see this is a really nice ampelosaurus massive action ampelosaurus you can actually twist the tail the neck will move and when you press once you press this button the jaw will actually open up and close very nice very beautiful i really love this i think this has got to be um, in my top five most favorite figures from jurassic world dominion i'm not too sure which one is my most favorite this is definitely the top five definitely okay next up Let's take a look at the Amargosaurus. Um, I think the Amargosaurus really has a very nice sculpt. Yep. Um, the entire pose, the entire sculpt looks amazing. But I feel the colors definitely needs to be improved. I hope to like do a repaint of um this um Amargosaurus really soon. Okay. Yep. Cause I really don't like you know how bland and how. I wouldn't say boring, it's really really like too bland for me. Yep, this is basically the Mega Dewar Attack Amagosaurus. Yep, it's a pretty old figure. I think this is like all the way, I mean, it's a few years back for sure from the last uh, movie. Very, very old figure. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, how about this one? This one is actually a vintage figure I got from a collector. Yep, it is actually a Japanese figure, if I'm not wrong. Very beautiful one. I love this. You can actually put this like right here in the middle. It looks really fantastic. Um, let's move on. We have a mini Amagosaurus from Takara Tomi. It is also an official Jurassic World figure. You can see it looks pretty amazing. It looks very, very similar to the figure right here. I mean, they probably use the same three figure to actually three D model to actually create this figure. Probably. Next, 
let's take a look at this uh, McDonald's Happy Meal Cam Cretaceous Little Brachiosaurus. I think it looks absolutely uh, gorgeous and adorable. P place this right over here. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Another Cam Cretaceous figure. Okay, this is the um, Baby Brachiosaurus. And speaking of Cam Cretaceous, Season 5 will be out in July. I can't wait for it, guys. I'm pretty excited about that. Here's another one. This is basically, um, I think the name of this Brachiosaurus is named Firecracker, if I'm not wrong. Yep. I have to like rewatch Camp Cretaceous because I've totally forgotten like, you know, many parts of it. So I probably need to rewatch and I didn't really concentrate, you know, during certain episodes. So I don't really understand the story very, very well. Okay. So I probably need to rewatch. Next, we have a Mazarus. Mazarus is basically a um, pretty small sauropod. It is known as the mouse lizard because I think when it was discovered, it was like as small as a mouse if I'm not wrong. Okay. And this one right here is actually a Diplodocus. Yeah. I think very soon, they would be definitely coming up with a Diplodocus Colossus. I'm, you know, I'm really hope that they don't produce more Colossus. I don't have space to, to keep all of them anymore, guys. Okay, next one is actually a Brachiosaurus. Okay, this is a JP3 Brachiosaurus. Very nice one as well. Yep. I'm thinking of buying new shelves to place it in my Godzilla room so that we have space on top to place the Colossus. I mean, what do you guys think? Should we do that? Next, we have an Amagus Minus. Amagus Minus is basically an Amagosaurus, you know, it's a hybrid uh, made up of the DNA of an Amagosaurus and the Spinosaurus. Yep, very cool. Let's see, what else we've got, guys? Brachiosaurus from Takara Tomy. It's another beautiful one for sure. Okay. Let's see, what else we've got? Mazarus, a different paint scheme. This is also quite an old figure. Place this right here. I think, in fact, the blue one is actually the first one that was released. Next, this is one of the latest one, if I'm not wrong. Okay, a Brachiosaurus. I don't think there is a new Brachiosaurus from the latest, you know, Dominion minifigure set. I don't think so. This is the one from the um, Captive Collection, which is the um, Clash Edition. It's not the latest Dominion Edition for sure. But still a very nice figure, but I'm not really a huge fan when they actually bend the neck down. I think this is, this is probably to make it like, you know, smaller in size. But still a fantastic figure. A Patasaurus, beautiful one. This is actually from Mattel, a minifigure, beautiful one. If I'm not wrong, there should be a, a few more Apatosaurus. Yes, this is the one. This is actually from the very old movie, 2015 movie. Wow, and speaking of the 2015 Jurassic World, it is close to like a decade old. I think in three more years, that Jurassic World movie will be 10 years old. This is another Brachiosaurus. It's basically a repaint. I mean, this is the repaint. This is actually the first one, okay? Nice. Let's see, what else we've got? Okay, I think this is what one of our last one. This is actually a beautiful Brachiosaurus, um, a Jurassic Park die cast metal figurine. It's really beautiful. I really love this one. Yep. It's a really old figure, 1993, guys. Okay, pretty old figure. All right, so basically, these are all the sauropods that we have you know, from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. We probably still have a few more right here. Yeah, we still have one more. What is this? This is actually, um, I think this should be an Apatosaurus. Yeah, I think it should be an Apatosaurus. Do we have any more over here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is basically like a um, review and opening of the Dreadnoughters as well as taking a look at some of my other collection like the sauropods okay hopefully you guys enjoyed this 
And our next video, guys, is going to be another epic video because we have the Chaos Outpost Chaos playset right over here, guys. Check this out. Yeah, I think that is the Gigar. Yeah, we have we, we can't wait to open this. We can probably open this, assemble it together, and we can place like different dinosaurs around the outpost. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, this is just like a quick preview for you guys, okay? Plenty of new figures. We also have another set from Takara Tomi. I think this one we have to open and review probably next week. More preview over here. I have a bag of um you know Jurassic World Kinder Joy pieces right over here. I can't wait to assemble of them. I'll probably open this along <coughs> with the Takara Tomi set. Okay? And um, what is this pack? I think this pack is actually some um boot like lego figurines okay yep so yep i'm not too sure where we should actually place our dreadnoughts because we're totally running out of space i will see if i can actually squeeze it right in at the top okay that's all for now i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye guys guess what i've managed to actually squeeze in the um dreadnoughts onto this shelf okay i think it's looking a bit crowded and I'm slightly worried that the top part of the shelf may not be able to support like one, two, three, four, five, five colossus. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully, yeah, I think it's right now and it seems to be okay. I'll just monitor it for a while. I'll probably. This is another space that we can probably put our dreadnoughts. We can, you know, possibly shift all this Funko Pops over here. And um, yeah, we'll try that as well, okay? Yeah, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.